welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so very glad that you clicked to this video today to join me in bringing you some amazing content. And if you are new to the YouTube channel, hi, my name is Olivia, and I'm so very glad that you decided to click on this video today. And in today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing a kitchen clean and organization. I have some like food storage bins, but I purchased some other ones today just because I kind of needed more. And then I need to unload and reload my dishwasher as well as make my dinner for tonight. So I'm going to show you guys that. I'm going to be making a barbecue chicken flatbread. Um, but yeah, that's basically all this video is going to be. I want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And if you are someone right now who doesn't have someone to spend this time with, or you're alone, or you recently lost somebody, I just want to let you know that my heart goes out to you this holiday season. And I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. And that I'm thinking about you this holiday season. This video will bring each and every one of you a little bit of joy and peace. So there'll be some nice little ASMR sounds in here, some nice relaxing music in the background, and I'll be talking here and there. So without further ado, let's jump straight into my kitchen organization. So I finished organizing the kitchen. I don't know if the angles were right, but I'm still getting used to like filming and doing stuff at the same time. But I'm gonna show you how I did it. I do not have a lot of storage space in this apartment. So I'm making do with what I have, but I think putting things in bins makes it a little bit better than having a whole bunch of different color packages that the items already come in. So let me show you what I've done. All right, so up here, this is right above the sink. It looks insane. 
but it's way organized compared to what it used to be. So now I have pretzels, popcorn, pasta, apple chips, oats, and granola all in their own thing. This cabinetry, this is a lot more organized too. So on the top, I put most of like my beans and legumes and like canned vegetables and different things like that. Like I have some rice, some quinoa, tomato soup, I have chickpeas and whatnot up there. And then down on the second shelf, I have all my canned soups and then my dressings, tuna and like uh, bouillon paste, mustard, just pickles, different things like that. Then down here, I have a snack basket that I put all my little snacks and protein bars, my peanut butter, and then two granolas, and then some Cheerios in the back. And this one here, again, not a lot of storage space, but I was able to use those two little wicker, or not wicker, wire baskets over there that I can put my spices in, just so that they're in little things that are easy to grab out, that I have all my crackers just kind of lined up going backwards. Then I have some larger dressings, salsas and whatnot, nuts, and then I have another big thing of pretzels. This has some like sun chip type stuff in it, and then I have all my nuts. All right, so I have my chicken in here cooking. I um, despise cooking chicken, although it's super easy to cook. I hate, hate, hate touching raw chicken. Um, oh my gosh, the smell of raw chicken. Ugh, it is so hard for me to cook, so I quickly try to get it chopped up and like disinfect and wash my hands and get it seasoned so that that disgusting raw chicken smell goes away. But let me know down below if anybody else is like that too, or ugh, it just makes me feel sick. Disgusting. But so far I've seasoned it, which it is very like liquidy. Um, not liquidy, that's a really bad word for this. Um, it had a little bit of fat on it. So I'm gonna try to use that fat to kind of almost, I don't know, say fry it, but just kind of, you know, pan grill it or whatever. Then I'm gonna put in some onion powder and garlic powder. I've already done salt, pepper, and lemon pepper. Now we're gonna do onion and garlic. And when I cook my meat, it is rare that I'm like putting one to two seasonings in. Like honestly, I'll put the whole kitchen sink in and think it makes it taste good. I'm gonna actually put some garam masala in too. I love this. I put this on sweet potatoes, on french fries, and taco meat. I'm gonna put some Cajun seasoning on it as well, just to give it a nice, you know, I put turmeric on things. Sometimes I'm not gonna put it on the chicken, but like, just to give it a good flavor, I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of stuff on it. And then I chopped it up into little chunks, kind of like this, this little small chunk, so it cooks a lot quicker to like put into things on top of things. But yeah, I hope that you guys are having a good day. It's Monday when I'm filming this. Hopefully this will be up for you guys Tuesday when you're watching it. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys are having a good day and whatnot. What did you do today since it's the day after Christmas? You take your decorations down immediately. That is personally me. I haven't done it yet. I'm planning on doing it tomorrow. <laughs> But um, I am definitely a person who loves my Christmas decor to literally come down the day after Christmas. Maybe that's odd, but I just kind of feel like Christmas is over. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but like I truly like to take my stuff down literally right after Christmas. But now I'm getting out all the different ingredients that I'm going to need for this barbecue chicken flatbread. I'm going to show it all to you while the chicken cooks. So I made some spaghetti squash not too long ago, maybe like a day ago, and I had half of it, super good, really love it, but I am going to put some of that onto this as well. And these are the flatbreads that I'm using. Right here, just these little guys. Got them from Walmart. And I'm gonna put it in my toaster oven, but I'm gonna put some portobello, baby mushrooms, red onion, pickled red onion, spinach, and then my favorite hands down barbecue sauce and just like dressing anything, like literally he makes all these sauces. It's the G Hughes brand. Usually they have them at Walmart, Kroger. Stuff is really great. He makes ketchup and literally everything. So I 
love his barbecue sauce. He makes wing socks, honey mustard, dressings for salads, just everything. Ooh, but the chicken smells really good. It's super seasoned. You can see it. <clears throat> but it's quite good. Not quite done yet. Leave it a little bit longer. But yeah, I'm going to take one of these little lavish wraps and I'm going to put it on a pan in my air fryer toaster oven. Just so that it gets a little bit of a toast to it before, I mean, warmth to it before I put everything else on it. the view of the flatbread here. 
Now we're gonna open up our barbecue. And I'm just gonna put some on. Ooh, that's kind of a lot. Ooh. And then I'm gonna get a spoon. Just kind of rub it all like this. Sorry if you think I should add cheese, because I'm not adding cheese. But what I am gonna add is some of this cooked spaghetti squash. Just shave a little bit of it up. So again, this gives the essence of cheese, if you will. <laughs> I'm not trying to pretend like it's cheese, but I'm just not using any cheese. Uh, so I'm just gonna put some of that on here. I'm now gonna add in my cooked little sauteed baby bella mushrooms on it. Now we're gonna add toaster oven and when it comes out I'll let you know how it looks. looks really good and this is my little drink the cherry cola olipop in my cute little urban outfitters cup and then I'm gonna also be munching on a little bit of this queso blanco spicy style dip which is like a plant-based vegan nacho sauce and then just some um, tortilla chips and then I'm gonna put a little sriracha because this is the only hot sauce that I love I know come for me in the comments 
But yeah, I love this stuff and I put it over everything. So I'm gonna put some of that on here. I have my water for my little hydration. This is your moment. If you haven't drink any water today, I highly recommend you get some water. But yeah. All right, friends. So that is gonna conclude today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed. I'm still learning how to film and do things at the same time. So it was a little bit challenging, but as you can see, I was able to get my kitchen a little bit more organized with the space that I currently have. It's not too much, but I think the storage bins for the food helps so that it's not a whole bunch of help, half open boxes everywhere and bags. But yes, and then you got to watch me make some dinner. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up and hit your notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post a video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the fam. And yeah, guys, I will catch you in my very next video. Bye, friends.